What is up guys? In this video, we are going to be doing a battle head against the head with two Costco ceramic whole house water heaters. Now, I bought both because I really don't know which one might work better in my situation uh, or for my heating needs. So I bought both. What the heck? Uh, let's do a comparison. So this one in Costco currently on sale for $59. That's with a, I think, $20 discount. This one, the Lasco Elite Collection Motion Heat Plus, is currently on sale in Costco for $49. That's with a $15 discount, okay? So within $10 price difference, and both of those uh, features a remote control. Both of those are the same power consumption, 15, 1500 watts per hour. And uh, so it really comes down to, I guess, which one would work with a particular situation better, okay? But if you want to save money, just go ahead and get the $49 one. If you probably want a little more performance, get the $59 one. But again, I don't know until I try both of those machines, okay? So in the first section of the video, we're just gonna unbox them and take a look at the physical appearance and the features of both of those machines and see, um, it's pretty much uh, orange to apples. So let's just take them out and take a look on both of those machines, okay? Again, I honestly don't know which one is gonna work better. So they all have very similar specs, but they work differently in terms of how they are cooling the how they are warming up the rooms okay on the vernado uh what's what's the actual thing it's called vernado automatic whole room heater comes with a manual and uh now it's just pretty much taking the thing out of the box and there is pretty much it uh to this heater there's nothing else included in this box so we're gonna leave all the stuff, put it on the side. I'm trying to see where the remote control is. Honestly, I, I don't know where the remote control is. Um, could it be hidden somewhere? That's weird. I, I honestly cannot see the remote control. It's advertised as coming with a remote control, but there isn't one. So that's pretty weird. Um, we'll have to figure that out later. Now on to the other one. The Lasco Motion Heat Plus. And this one is a whole house, uh, ceramic, whole room ceramic heater. The Lasco also have another model in Costco that sells for $39 without any discount. That one is only for spot heating, okay? So make sure you buy the correct one if you want your entire room to be heated instead of just heating one spot. The Lasco is definitely more substantial uh, in terms of volume compared to the Vernado whole room heaters. And it's, it's packaged very similarly though. There's no extra padding to both of them. Uh, this one comes with a plastic wrap. The other one comes with a foam wrap. I'm just gonna take the plastic uh, protective covers out. I kind of hate those packagings because uh, again, I kind of prefer the packaging of the Vernado because it's easy to remove, easy to take everything out. There's no tapes, there's no waste of materials, plastics. This one, the Lasco, have a lot of those. And it's, it's not that easy to, uh, to take everything apart.
And the Lasco also smells kind of funny. I think they tested it at the factory before it was shipped. So it's got some sort of burning smell on, on the machine. Um, taking off the plastic cover. Uh, it does come with the manual, which is uh, thinner than the, uh, the Vernado. And uh, the remote control is right here. Looks pretty nice. Again, too much plastic, man. I hate plastics. <clears throat> right here, okay? So, physical appearance side by side. This one is definitely more compact. And this one, more substantial. Both of those features a very easy to grab a handle if you need to move them around. However, I think the Vernado handle is actually much easier to grab because there's a dent inside where you can dig your hand into, where the Lasco is kind of hard to grab because there's no dent and it's kind of slippery, so it might slip out of your hand. In terms of controls, Where is the remote? That's, that's crazy, there is no remote inside. Um, I couldn't even uh, test it because it looks like all the controls is on the top and without the remote, there's, uh, there's no way of controlling this one. So that's, that's pretty weird. And for the Lasco, all the controls are on the top. You have your power button. And again, all those are touch buttons. So there's no physical press. Um, yeah, all touch buttons. Um, in terms of how they heat up the room, this one uses uh, what they call like a tornado <laughs> or vortex technology. So basically, it's blowing the air into the room and then it's bouncing back from the walls. So you need to set, up, set this one up properly against something that can actually deflect the heat back. So that's how it works. It doesn't have a oscillating um, like mechanism, so it doesn't turn around. It just fixed at one spot. For the Lasco, it does have a rotating base. As you can see, it's already turning around if I just move it a little bit. So this one definitely oscillates and it turns to heat up the room. Um, you, have, you also have this like blade over here. The angle is, uh, is slightly adjustable. It's not very adjustable, slightly. Uh, so on the bottom is, if you take it off, there is actually a filter piece. So the air gets sucked in somehow and then it gets pushed back. So air gets sucked in on the bottom, gets pushed back on the top with heated ceramic element hidden inside. So really there's uh, no place that so it's pretty safe, I would say. There's nothing that's here that's gonna be like hot to the touch. Same thing with this one. They actually advertise there's no element around the body that could burn you. So both of those units should work very nicely. What is up guys? I am back after about two weeks of using both of those uh, whole room ceramic heaters that I bought from Costco. Now over here with confidence, I can finally tell you guys which whole room ceramic heater that you should buy. Now, uh, without further ado, let me just tell you, do not buy the Vernado. It's a waste of money. And uh, compared to the Lasco, this is like a laughing stock. And let me tell you why. Uh, first thing first, uh, I've been using those heaters for two weeks. When I say I've been using those heaters for two weeks, I mainly used the Lasco because obviously as you guys um, find out, this thing actually came without a remote. So it's missing a remote. I'm not sure if someone took it out of the box or it was come from the factory missing the remote, but that was really not a good experience. And on the first day, I started using the Vernado. I turned it on and I just aimed it at a corner of my living room, which is, which is this area. So my living room is actually fairly large. It's about, I think, 14 foot by 10 foot. Um, the thing, I've left it on 
full power for about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, according to the instruction, I left it, you know, blasting the, uh, the heat wave into the space and onto the wall so it can circulate uh, back and forth in the living room area. And for almost 45 minutes, the temperature hadn't raised more than one to two degrees. So there really isn't much, it's, I, I don't know if this unit is defect or what, but it just doesn't feel as powerful when it's turned on and at full power. Now, if you are really close to the unit, yes, it's kind of warm and nice, but as soon as you go further away, those, uh, those air that it blows out becomes a cold air. Uh, my room temperature is around 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and I, that's without me turning the whole room heater on. And I tried to use this to raise the room temperature, and at best, I think my room temperature raised up to 51 degrees or 51.5 degrees Fahrenheit using this space heater. Another issue with the Lasco is it's, it's a fixed angle space heater. And when you turn it on, um, the air is blowing pretty much straight forward. So it, you cannot tilt it up and you cannot tilt it down. And because of that really awkward building safety feature, if you tilt it up, it's gonna turn itself off. So that safety feature in turn actually hurt its functionality when you really want to position it at a specific angle when it's not heating the whole room, okay? So that's like, I think the safety feature, which is the safety switch over here, is a major design flaw. It's, it's actually pretty limiting on how you can use this machine. And if you just bump it a little bit, like you bump it a little bit, and it's still on here, it turns itself off, and you have to reset it by turning itself back on. Really, really annoying, okay? So it's a very dumbed down safety feature. It's there, it does the job, but it's very limited. Now, on the top of the Lasco is a touch control panel. Um, when you plug the machine in on the, la on the, I'm sorry, on the top of the Vernado is a touch panel. And when you plug it on, there is no audible sound. So uh, it just have a little white light indicating that the power is on. So it doesn't have any sound at all. No audible sound at all. You know, I mean, it's a touch screen. The touch screen is fairly nice. Uh, it's, uh, it's a capacitive touch screen, so it's very easy to press and things like that. It's got a power button. It's got a, um, a fan button. Basically, you, you switch the fan from full power to half power to fan only, and you get a self timer. Uh, besides that, it also have a temperature control. So basically, you use the temperature control to go up and down to get, your or to get the desired temperature that you want. So I just turned the machine on and uh, um, there is a LCD screen. I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna show you guys the LCD screen. So on the LCD screen, you got a couple indicators. There's a low heat and a high heat indicator. There is a room temperature, which currently displaying at 56 degrees. That's my current room temperature. And on the bottom is the set temperature. So as I said before, there is a plus and minus sign on the top of the screen and a self timer and a heating, you know, a power, a power switch that you toggle for different heat levels. Right now I have my microphone on and I'm really close to the space heater. This is a low heat and this is what it sounds like, really close. And I just turn on to high heat, this is what it sounds like. And I turn it to fan only, pretty much same sound level as high heat, but except this time it's only blowing um, air, it's not generating heat at all. So, and you press it, the power button turns the machine off. And uh, if I turn it on, and again, if I want to show you guys what's on the top of the panel with the machine on, unfortunately I can't because it turns itself off, which is really annoying. Um, so I'm gonna unplug this. 
And we're going to move on to my personal choice, which is the Lasco. And I'm going to talk about the features, what the Lasco have that the Vernado is totally lacking, okay? So the only upside, I guess, with the Vernado is it's fairly compact. So if you have a limited space, especially a small room, this thing should generate enough heat to heat up any of the smaller rooms, say if you have a maybe five by five uh, small bedroom, or like if you want to use this in your bathroom when you're taking a shower, it's winter time, it's cold. This thing can definitely generate a fairly nice amount of warmth and heat for that small room. When they talk about whole room space ceramic heater, they are talking about using those ceramic heaters together with your whole room uh, heating system. So it's not designed to be used alone, especially at cold winter. This, this thing and that, both of those is not gonna be able to raise the room temperature by themselves, okay? Um, so again, the plus side, a few of the plus side is it's very space saving and uh, it does generate enough heat to heat up a small room, but it takes time. Uh, for any of the room that's larger, maybe your living room area, this thing is, uh, is pretty much a space heater. You, you aim it at your feet and it does its job. You can't even, you know, change its angle if you want to warm up your hand, you can't, okay? So another plus side for this space heater, it's very quiet. So when you turn it on, you barely hear any, hear any noise at all, even at the high heat. And the reason it's quiet is because it's actually lacking a filter mechanism in the in the heater so the air doesn't get filtered through at all and uh, that's why the fan is quieter now let's move on to the lasco which i actually want to talk about and praise for especially comparing both of those heaters the lasco over here so they actually put in a very good amount of thought into designing this very useful whole room ceramic heater and uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, both of those heaters are only designed to be used together with another heating source, your whole room heating system. By themselves alone, they're not gonna be able to raise a fairly large room to a desired temperature at all. Uh, like as soon as you go further away from those heaters, the air is pretty much cold, okay? So you have to have a existing whole room heating system to use those heaters together and to make them more efficient. So what makes Lasco so much better is it's able to swivel around when you turn on the power. So let me show you guys again with the Lasco. I'm gonna plug it into my... Did you guys hear a beep? That's another plus side. When you plug the, the power on, it actually beeps. So it actually lets you know that the system is connected. And did I mention there is a remote? The remote works extremely well. I just turn on the, the heater with the remote. And on the remote, there's actually a LED display. When you press it, it actually turns on for a brief moment to let you know what setting you are on. Uh, the remote actually have every control that you can find for on the top of the, uh, the space heater, I mean the ceramic heater over here. So the remote is extremely useful. Also comes with a battery already installed. And uh, again, the, the swivel, I'm gonna turn it on. Let's see. Do you guys see the move? So this actually makes uh, heating up a particular space extremely fast, faster than the Vernado because with this motion, I usually leave this at night, you know, uh, in my bedroom, which is much smaller than the living room area. And I turn on the swivel and uh, it's able to heat up the room fairly quick. In less than 20 minutes, it's, it's able to like up the room temperature by at least three to four degrees Fahrenheit. So very efficient. Uh, because of the swivel function. When I left the Vernado in my bedroom at night at the very uh, first couple of days when I was testing both of the units, 
it's able to bring up the room temperature. However, even in my bathroom, which is smaller, it actually took longer to bring up the room temperature because the Vernado have a limited amount of the angle adjustment. So it pretty much just blows on one area. If you have an object in front of the Vernado, um, it's gonna dissipate the heat to the other areas, which destroys or actually totally destroys the adverse, uh, advertised advantage of it being uh, able to circulate the air in the room. And this thing, the Lasco, with the tilt, with the, um, I mean, with the swivel, it's very easy to get the air to all the angles that you want. You just set up in one of the central area in your room and turning on the swivel and it starts doing its job. Did I also mention that the, uh, the blade on here, so the air angle is also fully adjustable and you can turn it on by pressing another. And now you guys can notice that the, the blade actually goes up and down. That way it's pretty much covering, I would say the whole room area. It's gonna be able to blow the air everywhere it turns. So it's not only able to stay at a fixed angle, it's able to go up and down at the same time while going left and right. Huge, huge advantage, and I think the most useful feature of the Lasco compared to Vernado. Again, it already beats the Vernado on this major advantage. Now, some other features that the Vernado lacking is on the Lasco, for the heat adjustment, there are actually three levels of heat plus one fan only mode. On the Vernado, there's only three. So there's high and low and fan. On the Lasco, there's high, medium, low, and fan. And I usually don't use high at you know 1500 watts. It burns a lot of um, energy. And at the medium setting, actually I found that's the most useful, most better compromise between the high and the low. And I'm so glad they have that medium setting because that's a setting actually I've used mostly during this two weeks testing both of those uh, heaters. Um, the medium setting, very useful, it blows Warm air, it's not so cold and it's not so hot. Um, really, really great design, really great thoughtful thing to put three settings instead of two. On the Vernado, it's either too high or too low and both of those doesn't really heat up the whole room if your room is actually large, okay? Um, so that's another advantage, that's a second advantage. So based on those two advantages, I should already say, guys, when you're going to Costco, just please skip the Vernado. Don't buy it. it. It's $79 now. So the deal was off. When I bought it two weeks ago, it was like, um, I think it's still $10 more expensive than the, the Lasco. Um, definitely not a good deal, even with discounts. The Lasco right now, the deal is also off. So it's uh, at Costco for about $69. Still, I think it's a great value. And if you go outside of Costco and you want to buy a space heater, most of those places sell the same unit for actually, I think, 10 to $20 more expensive. So you're still getting a good deal, but you're getting a killer deal when Costco put this on sale at, I think, I bought it at $49. Oh my God. The best space heater, the best money you can get at $49 for a space heater is definitely the Lasco, okay? Um, you can get it as powerful as you want. You can get it, you know, as efficient as you want. And with the tilt and up and down feature, uh, this thing heats up really, really efficiently. Again, with the Lasco alone, it's not able to generate enough heat to heat up a large whole room. However, if you have a smaller room, a bedroom that you want to heat up before you go to sleep, this is your best bet. And if you want to just heat up a particular space as a space heater, you can definitely just uh, turn off the, the rotation and turn off the, the blade. You can just, okay, where did I press? Okay, I'm just gonna press on the top. So you can just have it at a fixed angle and use it purely as a space heater. If you have a small space you want to heat in a large room, this definitely does a fantastic job. And you got three heat settings, so really no brainer, okay? Um, it's winter time now. Go to Costco and get a space heater, especially if you feel really cold at home like I did. 
I did not get paid by any, by both of those companies, okay? Um, only because I used it and I found it extremely useful as a whole room heater as well as a space heater. Just before we end, another huge advantage over the the Vernado is the uh, it's a safety uh, it's a safety features, okay? So with this unit, the safety feature is actually built inside the machine. So it's if you tilt it. Only when you tilt it full, knock it down, it's gonna turn itself off. When you just move it around, when you just move it around left and right, you can even lift it up, it does not turn itself off, okay? So this is a fantastic design. Another safety feature, when you cover this and it gets overheated inside, it turns itself off as well. Everything's building. And if you turn sideways, it also turns itself off. See, this is a, so the safety feature is actually much more advanced in the Lasco compared to the Vernado, which sells for $79. I think it's crazy people would spend $79 to buy a space heater that barely does anything. Um, so yes, go out and get this if you need a space heater or a whole room heater. Questions, comments, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you so much guys for watching at my review. I uh, hope you found this review helpful. If you did, please do hit the thumbs up button or subscribe to my channel. And I should have more similar videos coming out for you guys. So thanks again and uh, take care.